Hey, hey, good afternoon everybody. It's Friday. So have a hope you guys have a good weekend this weekend. I'm gonna make a quick vlog today. Uh, I'm gonna show you let the chickens out for the first time and see if we can get them to come out in the run. And as soon as I as soon as I throw some scratch out, um, the chickens start making this different noise and the turkey will come out and start eating. So I'll show you that too. And I'm um, also got I gotta tell you guys something. I literally had a panic attack today and it's never happened to me like this before. And uh, we'll talk about that here in just a little bit, but it it was crazy. It was crazy. And uh, it, probably going to make fun of me for it. My wife, Brandy, has been making fun of me for it. I don't care, though. I don't care. And I'll tell you guys about that here in just a little bit. But let's let the chickens out. And then I'm gonna show, I got some stuff for the chicken coop, too. I'll show you that. Might even throw some up. We'll see how it goes. But I hope you guys like today's vlog. If you do, smash that like button for me if you would. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And hope you guys have a good weekend. Get down from there and go play with the ladies. Come on now. What are you doing up there, Abe? You gotta go outside. It's time to go outside. I got your new run. I gotta feed the water to the quail, so you need to get out of here. Get out of here, Abe. Okay, so I don't know if I caught it on camera, but I definitely caught the sound. Uh, Gracie stuck her nose right inside that electric fence after one of them chickens, and she got the shock of her life, and you will hear it. If I didn't catch it, uh, the actual video of it, you'll hear it for sure, because she went crazy. She ran way over there, so she probably won't be messing with these uh, ladies anymore. But you can see, they're enjoying this big run. Big run. I'm glad I did this. Uh, this is perfect. I can have 40 more chickens now. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the suggestion, guys. I might just go get 40 more chickens now. No, but they're 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 really liking this. They're getting to peck around. More room for Abe. Abe's liking it. And uh, so that's a good thing. I can hear it popping. It definitely works. I tell you, uh, Gracie got hit hard. But that's part of it. She'll learn. All right, you ladies and gentlemen, Abe, we'll see you here in a little bit. Uh, let's walk over there and take care of the goats. Hey, Gracie. How are you feeling? Did you get the shock of the lifetime? Where are you going? Come here, Gracie. Hey, Gabby. Hey, Gabby. You guys are all learning. Come on, Gracie. She scared him. I didn't do that, Gracie. Don't be mad at me. My German Shepherd's mad at me for something I didn't even do. She got mad at me. Gabby, tell her I didn't do it. Tell her. <laughs> come here, Grace. Come here, Gracie. Gracie. She thinks I did that. Gracie, come. Come here, Gracie. She's mad at me. 100% she thinks I did that and I didn't do it. I didn't do it, Gracie. Come here. Come here. Come here, girl. I didn't do it. Come here. Okay. She's mad at me like I did. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. German Shepherd's mad at me. Tell you what. They, German Shepherds, they have feelings. I'm telling you, they got feelings uh, because she is upset with me for something I didn't even do. 
I'm telling you, it happens a lot when you're married too. I'm telling you. No, I'm just playing. So I got 300 pounds of, of goat feed. So I'm gonna unload it, put it in the barrel, get them. I'll go out there and clean their uh, clean their tubs out, check their water, uh, get them taken care of. Then we'll walk back over um, to the coop and I'll show you what I got going on. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how uh, I, about, I had a pant that day. It, it was scary, and uh, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Okay, there's the cedar planks I got. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. But let's get these out of the way. Actually have a bag of loose mineral and put in the bucket so they can have access to it. Let's see, where do we want to put this? Rand on. I might end up putting that inside one of the shelters just so it doesn't get rained on. I think I'll do that in a minute. I'm gonna go in there, clean your okay? That one's clean, that one's clean. We'll go and dump that one out and uh, get some grain. You almost got stuck, didn't you? All right, that one's that one's eating the milk, drinking milk while she's eating. She got her head stuck through there eating all of one. But I'm gonna go in there. I'm going to put the mineral inside the shelter, check the water, and we'll go from there. Let's just set this right, right there. That'll be good. Y'all had one bucket left of minerals and stuff. I don't know what's that. Y'all looking good, nice and healthy. They are done pretty much with that bale, so tomorrow I'm going to move that in there. Gabby, what are you doing in here? What are you doing in here, Gabby? It's been a little bit warmer these last few days, so they've been drinking a lot more water. Yeah, they need a little bit. Uh, Grace, Lily, I got Grace, I got Gabby, and Lily in here. Um, I'll fill this water up, and then we'll go back to the truck and over to the coop and uh, tell you what's going on. All right, so I'm back at the coop. Check this out. I got some cedar uh, fencing posts, planks, whatever you want to call them. Not posts. They're more like they're planks. Um, but I got this idea from Jason. My buddy Jason is doing off-grid living. Um, he built a goat uh, pen and he used these cedars for the siding. And my idea is I could use it right up there. See that where that hole's at? I could use them right there and then we could stain or paint the whole thing. And it's gonna look awesome. So I'll come up there at the ladder. Um, I think it's gonna be a little short, but we'll have to work with it and uh, figure something out. But I'll climb up there, show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. And I might even throw a few up there just to, just to see how it looks. Where you at? Okay, there you are. I actually got, I bought some of these a while back. Um, you think and use them for ventilation. Could kind of bend up a little bit, but I think I can make them work. Put those up, put at least one right up in the middle for uh, some ventilation. And then um, on the out, on the other side too. What do y'all think about that? I think I'm gonna do that. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and screw one of them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this one side. We'll see how it works. And 
and uh, we'll go from there. And then, because once I get these up, I put my ridge cap up and I put my trim up and it all fall together. So since I got you guys um, on the video today, let's go ahead and do a little bit of work and uh, see if I can get this side uh, pretty much finished. All right, so you can kind of see what I got going on here. Um, I'm running out of time. I got to pick the girls up from school, uh, but I like it. I think it's going to be fine. Um, it's going to give them a little ventilation up there. I need to, I need to uh, button it up right there and over there, but I think that's, that's probably what I want to go for. And uh, since the, the roof's brown, that's brown, the trim's going to be brown, it's all going to fall into place once we paint it and all that. But uh, what do you guys think? I think it's going to look fine. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys today. I wish I could finish it right now, but I can't. Like I said, I gotta go pick the girls up from school, uh, get this video edited for you guys, get it out on Friday, and uh, maybe I'll get one out Saturday too. I don't know, ho hopefully at least by Sunday. So if you don't see me in a couple days, I'll be back on Sunday probably. Uh, but Abe's doing good. They're all doing good. Oh, let me tell you about the story. I almost forgot to tell you the story. Uh, okay, so uh, I've never been claustrophobic in my life, but when I say that, I don't guess I've really ever been just in a confined, tight, squeeze uh, space. Well, I was scheduled for an MRI uh, today. I went over there, and it's for, and it's for the brain. I'm not going to get into all that. I'm fine. Um, having, having a few issues with certain things um, that I've never really talked about, but uh, nothing like life-threatening or anything like that. But they want to do an MRI um, just to see what's going, if there's anything going on up there. So I went... And I've got an MRI before on my back, um, was no big deal. Uh, but today they put this thing over my head, uh, and it was tight. Um, I got, I got big broad shoulders and, uh, this little machine, this is like the smallest one they make and they try to stick me in this thing and I'm just squeezed up like this. And I made the mistake. If you go to get an MRI on your head, don't make the mistake I did, uh, because I've never been claustrophobic in my life until today. And I about panicked it was the craziest thing ever um it just came out like that and um so what happened is they uh, the lady started pushing me in there and my shoulders just started getting crunched well i made the mistake and i had my eyes open as i'm going in and i'm going in i'm looking up and my heart rate just started pounding having a panic attack and i was like get me out here for a second and uh, i didn't like just freak out on her or nothing but uh, she got me out she's fine she goes this happens this happens a lot um so i got got my composure i said let's try it one more time if it doesn't work this time um we'll just have to figure something else out now they do uh, offer sedation and stuff, not that particular one, but other ones, and they can give you some medicine, make you drowsy, so she says some people sleep or whatnot. But uh, 
<laughs> so we tried it again and I tried it all I could. I just went in there, I kept my eyes closed. But you know, once once you you, you tried not to open your eyes, like you gotta open your eyes. So I get back in there, I'm like, oh, this ain't too bad. Then I open my eyes and I was like, oh my gosh. I said, no, you gotta get me out of here. Uh, it was just, it just didn't pan out right. Brandy was making fun of me. I mean, I was like, whatever. And uh, we went to go eat. We went actually went to Rib Crib, got some barbecue. And uh, the, the guy's like, do you want a booth or a table? And I said, I didn't care. And she goes, well, we can get a booth. Unless it's going to be too tight for you. I was like, really? Really? So she's busting on for that. It's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, so they got other options. They got, they got, but she said there's other ones uh, in a couple towns over that are actually bigger and I won't be so squeezed up like this and, and uh, probably be better. So uh, we're going to go that route. I got to talk to my doctor, do that. So yeah, I, it was crazy. Um, if you ever had something like that, leave me a comment down below. It's a real deal. It just comes on out of nowhere and there's nothing I, you could do about it. And I was actually, we went and got the oil change on the van today and I was talking to some of the guys there, her brandy's cousin works there and i was telling what happened he's like, exact same thing happened to me he said you cannot make the mistake of leaving your eyes open as you're going in it's, it was pretty funny uh but anyways that's what happened that's what happened today and uh gracie she's still mad at me running around around here somewhere she'll she'll get over it for sure uh but that's all i got for you today hope you guys enjoy your friday evening um have a great weekend it's supposed to be nice weather out here in oklahoma uh so hopefully i can get some stuff out maybe i'll see you in the next day or two uh so stay tuned for the next video and i appreciate you guys love you guys a lot i mean it, just, it means a lot that you guys support uh me and the uh, me and the family and the channel uh we can't thank you enough but thank you i hope you guys like today's video if you did smash that like button and if you're not subscribed please subscribe catch you on the next video thanks for watching